A flag history of Nepal. A flag represents a free nation and symbolizes a nation's nationality, national unity, and pride. Almost all the countries are represented by a rectangular or square flag except Nepal. Nepal's flag is the only non quadrilateral flag in this world. The present design of Nepal's flag was adopted in 1962 AD and borrowed from the traditional design which is believed to have been used since the time of Mahabharat. In the 18th century, King Prithvi Narayan Saha, the king of Gorkha, ran the unification campaign. He unified many smaller states into a single nation, Nepal. Any foreign country never colonized Nepal. Hundreds of years later, the new constitutional government was formed on December 16, 1962. Only then, the national flag of Nepal was modernized with standards set to draw the Nepali flag. Historically, triangular shape of the flag in the South Asian region was very common since it was compact in size so the flag furled even with the lowest wind, thus making it visible over long distances. The traces of triangular flags could be found in Hinduism. Nepal's flag has been used since the ancient Vedic period. It is also mentioned in Mahavarat and Vedas. But the origin of the flag of Nepal is unknown. In the old Kurukshetra war described in the Hindu epic of Mahavarat, it was mentioned that the first king of Nepal, Yalambar, took part in this Kurukshetra war. There is no mention of this flag, but there are discourses that the flag of Kirati people in this great war represents Nepal. Kingdom of Nepal before 1928 The Kingdom of Nepal was established when King Prithvi Narayan Saha unified all small principalities in 1769. In those days, all flags of the Indian subcontinent were triangular. The flag was already in use when King Prithvi Narayan Saha conquered the then Kathmandu Kingdom. But it had sun on the upper pennons, signifying the higher position of Malla kings who belonged to Sun Dynasty or Suryabangsi. But since our Sa king belonged to Moon Dynasty or Chandra Bangshi, Prithvinaran Sa had the sun lowered and moon elevated on the top to show his supremacy. As the light of the moon is dim and the light of the sun is bright, according to mythological belief, the moon is above and the sun is below in the sky. The same belief has been established in the national flag of Nepal. Those flags have been used in Hindu monasteries and temples since centuries ago. After the Vedic period, these flags became spiritualized and it became the flag of Hindu monasteries and temples. By the 6th century, the flag had received state recognition. The use of flag, which can be considered as a predecessor of the current national flag, is in the currency of Manaka, issued during the time of Lichavi King Mandev, was an expression of that. The flag held by a lion is considered the royal symbol of the Lichavi rulers. What this makes clear is that the current flag has been inextricably linked with the monarchy and Hinduism since ancient times. The tradition of hoisting the Indra flag on the day of Indra Jatra has continued till today. Metal or flags on either side are hung on the doors temples of the Malla period which indicate the shape of the ancient flags of Nepal. Some of these flags have the sun or moon symbol on the upper flag and the symbols of the associated god or goddess on the lower flag. There is an evidence that the flag of Nepal has been in use since before the time of Prithvi Narayan Saha. An example of which is the metal image of the flag of Nepal in the Changunaran temple in Bhaktapur which has been kept since the time of King Manadev. Therefore, even though Prithvi Narayan Saha was the user of the flag of Nepal and the one who popularized the flag, it is found that the use of the flag has been going on since before him. After 1850, the country was ruled by the hereditary Rana Prime Ministers and the flag was adopted that combined two red crimson or pennants belonging to rival branches of the Rana dynasty. On the upper pennon, a moon symbol represented the royal house and the sun on the lower pennon represented the Rana family. The faces are both sewn with ears and a tilak, the sign of Vishnu, on the forehead. The flag's border was green at first before 1928. Kingdom of Nepal before 1961 The Kingdom of Nepal is the only country in modern times with a non-rectangular flag. It is a combination of two triangular pennons or pennants and the final shape is of two overlapping right triangles. The smaller upper triangle displayed a moon symbol, symbolizing the king, 
and the larger lower triangle displays the sun, symbolizing the Rana family, whose hereditary prime minister were the real power behind the throne until 1961. The faces shows a tilak, the sign of Vishnu on the forehead. The flag's color is crimson red, the national color and the symbol of the bravery, while the border is blue, the color of peace. The shape of the sun and the moon symbols was not standardized and could look different. Kingdom of Nepal 1962 On 16 December 1962, after the power of the Rana Prime Minister had been broken, King Mahendra established a constitutional form of government and the flag was modernized. The facial features in the symbols were removed. The flag became official and was standardized, displaying white stylish moon and a 12 pointed sun, expressing the hope that Nepal will live as long as the sun and the moon. Also, the moon represents the calm demeanor and purity of spirit of the Nepali people, while the sun represents their fierce resolve. The moon also symbolized the cool weather of the Himalayas, whereas the sun symbolized the heat and the high temperature of the Tarai, the Nepali lowlands. With the abolition of monarchy, the two triangles now represent Hindu and Buddhism, the main religions of the country. The modern flag seems to be a combination of ancient Mustang Kingdom and the ongoing flag used by the former Gorkha Kingdom. Nepal's national flag is a combination of two single pennons. There are three colors, crimson red, white and blue in the national flag of Nepal. The Crimson Red the red in the national flag of Nepal is the symbol of bravery and represents the color of Nepal's national flower, the rhododendron. The two triangles symbolizes the Himalayan mountains and represents the two major religions in Nepal, Hinduism and Buddhism. The triangular red flag has been the Hindu symbol of victory since Ramayana and Mahabharata. Crimson red in the Nepali flag stands for their victory in the war. Blue. The blue border symbolizes the peace and harmony prevalent in the country since the age of Gautam Buddha, who was born in Nepal. Blue on the border of a flag represents the color of peace. The blue circumferences represents the sky over the Himalayan mountains. White and celestial bodies. There are two pennants in Nepal's flag. The upper pennant has a crescent moon and the lower pennant has the sun. The inclusions of the celestial body in white indicates Nepal's permanence and the hope that Nepal will enjoy the same longevity as the sun and the moon. The moon also symbolizes the chilling weather of the Himalayas whereas the sun symbolizes the warmth and the high temperature of the southern lowlands, the Rai. Additionally, the stylish moon represents the calm, demeanor and the purity of the spirit of Nepali people while the stylish sun shows their fierce resolve. The triangular shapes in Nepal's flag stand for the mountains. The sun and the moon on the flag are associated with two dynasties in the Hindu Vedic tradition of Chetriya king, also known as Surya Vangsi and Chandra Vangsi. The 12 rays of the sun represents the 12 months and the 12 signs of the zodiac as they are related to the sun's movement. Thank you.